Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. What's up? Um, today's video, we are just gonna sit down and film a really candid, quick, like sit down video. Um, we didn't even really talk about like why we wanted to film this, but it's kind of been on Corey's heart, and I feel like it's Is always it kind of like kind of like us venting about a few things and just like discussing things. Sometimes Lauren and I will sit down together and just vent to each other mm -hmm. and we thought that we're gonna basically film that. The other day I had someone basically tell me, well ask me like what is the big deal if you lose a child if you're five weeks pregnant and like you didn't even know you were pregnant. What's the big deal about losing a pregnancy? It's kind of yeah. like what the guy was like, saying. And my first, my first reaction was to get like super pissed off and started like cussing this dude out. It doesn't matter whether it's five weeks or whether it's 39 weeks. A loss is a loss. Like obviously mm -hmm. there's levels. Mm -hmm. There's levels. I will say that. I will never understand the emotional, physical, spiritual hole that it takes on a woman. But I know the toll that it takes on a family mm -hmm. and a marriage. I can definitely speak for that. And I can speak as a father too. So it's pretty disrespectful that you would come to me like knowing, you know what I mean? Like knowing that I had lost a daughter. He knew that though? Yeah, like okay. knowing I had lost a daughter. Right. Two, 22 weeks, okay. At 22 weeks. In society, you can't just like openly talk about having lost your children. I feel like, I don't know. Like, I it guess feels that's kind of like the like, basis of this video. It feels video. weird talking about it. So like, I didn't I want to fault him because like a lot of people don't know that miscarriages are actually common. It's a super common thing and like no one talks about it. If you guys are new to my channel and if this is the first video of mine that you've ever clicked <laughs> sorry, on, it's like I'm the, sorry. This is going to be like a, the most intense video uh, to watch. <laughs> yeah. No, but we've had a lot of miscarriages. We've had yeah. six losses total, but one of them, we lost our daughter at 22 weeks and three days. And, and that was a it's delivery. something, yeah, it was a, it was a birth. Um, but it's something that I feel like I try to always be as open about it as I can and I feel like I never really hide anything and I know it makes a, like through my journey of like sharing Blair's story and our infertility struggles and our pregnancy loss I've definitely encountered my fair share of people along the way that are extremely uncomfortable by it and what I just have to say about that is I mean sorry but not sorry that like <laughs> my grief and suffering makes yeah. you uncomfortable so if you guys are not familiar with what blair's diagnosis was um basically like a long story short we found out at our anatomy scan which was at 19 weeks that something was off and they couldn't really tell what it was so we were sent for further testing they did an amnio everything was perfect we had gotten back the we did genetic testing genetic that testing. came back and they Perfect. said everything's I, fine. Like, I still remember the phone call that the nurse, I was 12 weeks and she called me and she said, Hi, um, I just wanted to let you know that your genetic testing results came back. You have a healthy baby and you're having a girl. And I like lost it because I was so happy. My pregnancy was otherwise, like it was a little bit off, but I mean, everything for the most part was pretty uneventful. 19 weeks find out like, hey, they thought that she had, what was it, dwarfism? Because they were saying that her bones were measuring, like her long bones were shorter than they should have been. And that was why we got further testing. Yeah, it wasn't even that. They, the me like, it was something with the measurements that they didn't like. It was something with the cord too, wasn't it? Like she had a, a two vessel cord, but yeah, two vessel cord. It was a lot like, of people just like have... a, a couple of little things. Yeah. It was like I want to take another look at it. But a lot of people have two vessel cords and have healthy pregnancies. It just yeah. usually can result in like growth restriction and smaller right. babies. They did some testing, and this whole time they had no idea what was wrong with her. They were just saying like. It's looking pretty likely that she's gonna have some birth defects. We don't know. Like, we're probably gonna have to have a C section at like 28 weeks just to get her out because she's not growing properly. So, this whole time, we were hopeful that like she was gonna be okay. Uh, didn't we find this out on your birthday? It was on my birthday. It was on her birthday we that spent you it got all the day at the hospital. Amnio. 
all day my birthday yeah, like was it turned out from like a rather like a regular checkup to like i was excited because we were getting this. an ultrasound we were gonna see her again and i was happy yeah. and then that appointment ended with them saying you're we're definitely gonna have to take her early like prepare yourself for a c-section like that's gonna be like before 30 weeks like we were we had no idea the test results came back that she had something called triploidy which they said like the nurse said she had to like look it up because she didn't even know what it was that called me to tell me the results it is so rare it happens in less than one percent of all pregnancies which i i don't believe that because i have since heard about so many people who have had triploidy affect their pregnancies but it's supposed to be a fluke thing. You're never supposed to have it yeah. happen to you more than once in your life if you are unlucky enough to have a pregnancy affected by triploidy. But the thing about triploidy is that most pregnancies with it, it's so lethal that you miscarry either before mm -hmm. you know you're pregnant or you miscarry before 12 weeks. So yeah, it, Well, what it is is an extra 23 chromosomes. Yeah. Which means either two sperm fertilized one egg or two eggs were fertilized by one sperm. Never, a lot of them die like at the moment of conception because it's just. It's also been speculated that triploidy is like a failed twin pregnancy yeah. and that it kind of can happen that way. From the testing and everything we were told, it was confirmed that the triploidy came from me. Like essentially, it was my egg that split incorrectly, it wasn't Corey's sperm. Mm -hmm. Um, because she had her chromosomes when you looked at her like genetic makeup she had three x chromosomes so you can have three x chromosomes you can have like xxy xyy like there's so many different variations of it or when that diagnosis came back they said it's incompatible with life like they were honestly surprised that she was even like still yeah. alive when we had found out um for 19 like, weeks we were happy you start to almost like picture your life right yeah. like with this kid you start like you know imagining you start preparing your house home start getting clothes like yada like all that no matter whether it's five weeks or 39 weeks like i said it's like as a father i can speak like as a father like you're and like it that was like my daughter so like i'm losing you know like first time she's gonna say dada like the first time first christmas you know what i mean First time she comes home talking about a boy. Like all these moments and memories and stuff, like now all of that's ripped apart. A loss is a loss. So like I feel like it's people are very ignorant when it comes to certain subjects like that. Us being open like this, this and using the platform that we have, we can I don't know, like at least create like a platform and like a community for people or like, I don't know. We just wanted to be a safe space for, I mean, obviously my channel started off as a beauty and a makeup channel and now it's more of a lifestyle and motherhood channel and we do some family vlogs. We're not planning on just becoming like a family vlog channel like Ellie and Jared or bigger channels like that, um, in case you guys were wondering. We just... Like, this is just my channel. Corey is an extension of my life. Brody is an extension of my life. So I'm sharing my life with you guys. And that's kind of like the content that you can expect to continue to see on my channel. I also want it to be a safe space for other moms who have dealt with loss and other moms who are going through a loss. I don't want to have to put trigger warnings, but like sometimes I will be talking about loss. Like my postpartum depression, anxiety, like my experience with having a stillbirth, like those things are openly discussed on my channel and I want other moms to feel comfortable discussing those things in the comments. DM us, message us, comment, well, whatever you wanna do, ask us any questions. Like I literally had a mom and... reach out to me and if I didn't have the platform that I had, like she unfortunately had a daughter that passed away from triploidy and she had never heard of it before she had never heard of anybody who experienced that before <laughs> neither did we no and i <laughs> i mean but see i still didn't find anybody when we were going through it but she found my page and we've been dming and i have seen pictures of her daughter and we exchanged phone numbers like I love that I've been able to make a platform where I can connect with moms on such a personal level like that, but under unfortunate circumstances, obviously. But 
it's just crazy as you guys know blair passed away in october of 2015 and october also just so happens to be pregnancy and infant loss awareness month and my birthday ironically is pregnancy and infant loss awareness day we are planning on doing a series not like a series but just like extra dedicated videos to Blair. Videos where we talk about her more in them around that month. Most people have their kids around with them to celebrate their birthday and to remember them. And unfortunately we do not have our daughter here. So the only way we can think to honor her and to remember her because each year that passes, we get further away from when she was born. And we just always wanna make sure that we are remembering her and honoring her really just dedicating our time like thinking about her and it is like so tough talking about i know i'm trying not to cry when i'm talking I about know. this stuff but oh my God. um so you guys are gonna see videos like that because october is next month so we are planning on pushing some of those videos out we can start with what we named her first <laughs> Yeah, we and can do a video story it. about that. Oh my god. I actually don't go through this often, but when Blair was born, I was given a box um, at the hospital. I don't know if every hospital does this, but they gave me a box where I could write her name and her birthday on it, and the hospital photographer took pictures of her, and I have her hospital bracelet. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff in that box. I have my pregnancy test that I took with her, cards that I was given after she passed. Like, I don't go through the box. I've probably gone through it twice. I don't think you've mm. ever looked in it. No, I've never looked in it. So maybe we'll make a video um, going through it, maybe on her birthday or something. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to our channel, we would love it if you would subscribe. We put videos out three times a week right now on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And usually we have a lot more happy content. <laughs> um, so sorry if this video wasn't as upbeat, but we love you guys as always, and we'll see you next week. Bye.